First day back at Parliament and the Premier was a ripe target on asset sales, but the opposition had someone else in their sights. My question without notice is to the Minister for Child Safety. To the Minister for Child Safety. The Minister for Child Safety. To the Minister for Child Safety. With five children dead, the opposition says there are 3,254 more with no one looking after them. 1,124 cases closed without follow-up and 7,692 not seen when they should have been. Behind every one of these numbers is a Queensland child that someone thought was in danger but who may never be rescued by this broken system under this failing minister. The minister says the figures are wrong, but the gist is right. But investigations and assessments aren't where they need to be. Even the social workers' union is worried. Our members are gravely concerned for the kids of Queensland. And while the minister tried to show both sides can play the blame game, 225 full-time staff from the Department of Child Safety were cut from the department by those opposite. And she is hiring 129 more staff. I'm the Minister for Child Safety. I'm responsible for fixing it. This particular fight has been going on now for a year. Get on board the reform agenda or get out of the way. Shane, the government's making moves to address domestic violence. What are they changing? Well, Melissa, commit domestic violence and you won't see your partner or your kids for a minimum of five years. This the latest in a string of changes about this horrific crime. A number of politicians have come forward now to identify themselves as victims. And unlike the bitterness we're seeing in the child safety fight, both sides agree this will be law by the morning. Melissa? All right, Shane, thank you.